All right, let's get things started. Let's wait for some viewers to show up in chat. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, I gotta fix something. Hold on. There we go. Go that way. All right. Oh, oh boy. Mm-hmm. I made the post a little bit previously, but I hope everything will work out. Pretty early in the morning. All right. Ugh. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get started. I got my Reese's Pieces. I got my, uh, got my double Dr. P. Let's start playing. First off, welcome everyone to the stream. Let's get started with today, uh, Power World. I'm level 44 now, so, yeah. And, uh, I think Power World just froze. What the heck? Okay, there we go. There we go. Mm, that's my morning alarm telling me to wake up. Let's get started. So I'm here with everyone. I'm, I'm here playing Power World, and let's check up on the Pals for it right now because, yeah, we're gonna have to cook some new stuff. We're gonna have to do some hunting. We're well, gonna have to do the hunting and uh, get some food. So I am level forty-four right now. And what we need to do is, uh, first off, put those in there. Yeah, my Palmon are injured. Uh, right now what I need to do with them is get them some medicine. So, I got plenty of stuff to make medicine. So 
So let's get them healed up. But I still don't know how this thing works. So hold on. I don't know if this thing's automatic or what. Yes, yeah, so you're remembering, no. Gathering, no. Yeah, I don't know how this thing works. Don't know why yeah, I was expecting anything from that. So let's go over here and make them over here. That workbench is supposed to work, but I don't know. Maybe I have it backwards. Let's find out. Hey, right, holy crud. I don't know what to do here. I guess I gotta get a Palmon that works with medicine. There's a lot I'm still figuring out about this game. <laughs> it is very, very cryptic. Holy crud. It really is. Of like what it wants you to do and how you do it. So, right now, I guess we can get Mammoth there. Put her here, because, like, she does have, a, I think, Medicine 2. What we need to find is someone that has a higher Medicine in making. Oh, well, he does. Or she does. Yeah, uh... He does, but. Holy crud. So, uh, let's see here. Medicine one. Medicine two. All right, so what we need to do put you back there get that medicine made. Okay, there we go. I guess I can enhance her performance, too. Let's see here. Enhance pals. Yeah, I'm gonna need more pal souls for that. Well, at least she's doing it a little bit faster. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we'll continue to play Final Fantasy uh, 7 tomorrow. I know a lot of y'all uh, are like... Commanders, oh, like... There was that video released a while back ago, and like, what the heck's going on? Is everything okay in your life? You know, like, talk to us. And like, 
here, here's the deal. Here's the down low, all right? And I'm don't like talking about my personal life. I, I'm going to be real. I don't like talking about my personal life. It's highly unprofessional. And it's something that I really don't care for. But I know my uh, people out there in China have possibly gotten a little bit worried about my overall <clears throat> current situation. And... <sighs> yeah. That's due to my... Um, ex-friend doing that one video it upset me it really did but my what's currently going on in my life is beyond messed up what has happened in my life is some things no one wants to hear But it happens. This stuff happens, and when it does, it's failures on all parts. It wasn't just failures on my part. It wasn't just failures on my father. It was failures with the people my father surrounded himself with. But we have to talk where, like, where it stems from before we get into why it's so out of control and why it went so off the rails and trust me there's a deep dark root to this history of why it went out of complete mayhem And hold on. You get some medicine. You're feeling better now, okay. Okay, now to find my uh fiery friend. Uh where'd you go? Where'd you go? No, that's Vixen. Yeah, I've gotten a couple more Palmon by the way. Holy crud. Where'd you go? I guess he may be laying down. Where are you, my friend? Oh, there you are. Oh, as soon as I can look at you. Why are you not registered? Ah, uh, come on. But, uh, yeah, so let's talk about where this stems from. Now, history has certainly shown when families fall apart, it's due to a huge, huge overall problem. And that huge problem stems from my mother's passing. When my mother passed away, God, I don't like talking vulnerable like this. It really gets me mixed up inside, you know? And 
and it is something I rather avoid altogether. And Josh, why did you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? I have no idea. But anyways, so there's a, like I said before, my mother passed. Not something I like to talk about. Because she was a big effect in my life. She loved me. She protected me. She took care of me her entire life, along with my sister. And it's not something that's easy to accept. So much went astray. I know a lot of VTubers stream with their family. I know that it's something they do. For me, this is something that can't happen. Now, I don't know if it's their actual family they stream with or just some people they hire. Uh, but they give off this image that, oh, I'm streaming with my family, and they love me. And if... I wish I can do this for all of you. I really wish I could. But me and my family has completely... been destroyed. And it's because of my mother's passing. I loved my mama. I loved Mama Lionheart. Oh my god, I love my mama. Y'all give me all you want that I was a mama's boy, okay? I don't freaking care. I'm proud of that. I'm proud that I loved my mama. I'm proud that I wanted to take care of her. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't protect her from herself. Every day in my life, I wish I could have protected her from herself. But she had her own demons, had her own problems, and I couldn't protect her from that. No matter how much I wish I could, I couldn't protect her from that. I couldn't protect her from herself. And maybe I blame myself a bit there. If not entirely. My father, after her passing, started to go down a deep and dark depression. He was one of those men that barely blinked an eye. He could literally care less about other people and what they thought of him. He could literally, you know, if you ticked him off, he would be the guy that would get, a, get that double-barreled shotgun. And if you attacked his family or his friends, he'd be the guy to blow your brains out by unloading it in you. I know there's a lot of people that want men like that. That want cold-hearted, ruthless killers. 
that have no emotions, no love, no affection in their bodies. They just want people, uh, men or women, just to like, <laughs> you know, just kill for the sake of <clears throat> uh, their amusement. Uh, these type of people are small children that don't understand how love and relationships work out. Let alone how real people are. But my father was one of these old school men that um, would do it. He served in the, I believe it was, uh, oh, which war was it again? Man, there's been so many wars throughout history. It was Vietnam. Uh, he was a guy that served in the, the uh, I believe it was the Airborne Regiment to Save Lives. I forget what it's actually called. But it was a pretty unique infantry where they didn't see a lot of fighting. Or a lot of war. There are individuals that uh, saved lives. Kind of like Private Ryan, if you want to put it that way. You know, like... Oh, we didn't uh, fight people. I don't want to fight people. I want to save them. Well, this airborne infantry was meant to uh, save people. Instead of like, you know, uh, fight them. And holy crud. He did that. He saved lives. It was his job over there in that war. And he was one of those people that were taught that to be a man, you don't open yourself up. You don't talk. You don't own, tell anyone how you feel. You don't give off emotions. You be a cold-hearted, ruthless person. That's how my dad was taught to be a man. In retrospect, it was the man of the time. It was how men were supposed to be back in the 1980s below. And all these individuals that think, oh, this is how men really are, don't realize that that era of manhood is gone. It is long gone. Those type of men are a lost commodity. And a lot of these unique individuals that uh, think they know how real men are, <laughs> don't even come close. Don't even come close to the farm. On that one. These type of men are gone. They're a dying breed. And times change. My father has a hard time trying to accept that times change. That the world evolves. Much like Pokemon, the world does change. It does evolve. It becomes different. And... Yeah. It does... Not ever stay the same. My father did not want to change. He did not want the world to change. He did not want to become a better person, a better father, a better human. For him, those thoughts were so alienated, so different. 
throw out there that it's one of the reasons why we fell apart. For me, I always know the world is constantly changing. If you don't change with the times, if you don't improve with the times, you are going to die the way the caveman. And I know this all too well. Because at one time, I wanted to be like him. I wanted to be that cold-hearted, ruthless man that uh, no matter what could harm someone for the sake of family. And I found out real fast, like, that causes nothing but trouble. Violence like that, yes, it may protect your family, but it causes nothing but a constant river of blood and trouble. For me, that's not what I needed. To be my own man, I needed to avoid stuff like that. My father wasn't too happy with my thoughts on it. He wanted me to be like him. We had total different views on the state of the world. And his friends uh, he surrounded himself with follow his views. His cold-hearted, ruthless views about the state of the world. And how people need to be more like his generation. Just cold-hearted, non-caring people. And... This is something I did not care for myself. I wasn't going to be a cold-hearted, ruthless person. A lot of y'all wonder, like, why don't you cover controversy or, like, a VTuber like you know drama in your stuff doesn't mean that I don't know about it I don't talk about it doesn't mean I don't know about it I do know about the controversy that goes on and before this whole thing with Nisi Saji was happening with Doki Bird I kind of called it out before it even happened I kind of predicted it with my friends. You know, like, oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, this is going to be so freaking bad. And I'm probably one of the first few people that predicted this stuff. That I saw the writings on the wall with Nisi Sanji slash colors. I don't talk about this stuff because there's enough VTubers that cover this controversy. They cover it, and y'all don't need me to cover the stuff that's already being covered. They can cover it way better than me, and more efficiently. I know that. I, you see... Another one of the things why my family fell apart that I knew myself more than my father. That's important for someone that is mentally disabled if they can. And FYI, yes, I am legally mentally disabled. 
a lot of VTubers meme it, say they are, and uh, never own up to their claims. I wish I could show y'all my medical records. Here's the thing, though. As soon as I do that, I'm medically speaking. Within a legal standpoint, that would be bad for someone like me that is actually mentally disabled to reveal their medical records. Because that means someone could steal my identity. And identity theft is no joke. It is not funny. It is not hilarious. It is messed up. And last thing I need is someone to steal my medical records who try to come off like me. There's a lot of people out there that have uh, created fake alternate accounts of me on a uh, freaking Twitter. I can only imagine how many are on Facebook. Don't get me started on that. I only stay on Facebook because I have some uh, close affiliated friends that I know I can rely upon on this day and age. That I've uh, met. <laughs> I go into places like Yu Gi Oh! tournaments. I know, blasphemy, Commander plays. De Commander Devin Lionheart plays tabletop Yu-Gi-Oh! How dare you? Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, I do play it. And I know a lot of YouTubers have problems with the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Uh, at least table... At least online community. I don't know about tabletop. I cannot speak for other VTubers about their uh, tabletop experience. Uh, but maybe in a future live stream I'll cover like, oh, how VTubers can get along with tabletoppers. Uh, tell me in the comment, uh, tell me in the chat, like, would y'all like to see that out of me? Like, a full expose of how, like, VTubers can get along with tabletoppers? I think it'd be an interesting subject to talk about and possibly help the VTubing scene because uh, I think one of their major issues is trying to uh, get along with other players. In the tabletop scene, I could be entirely wrong. Uh, but let me know in chat if that's something you want to see out of a video out of me. Yeah, I recently uh, got these iron walls, by the way, unlocked. And uh, metal defensive walls and a door. It's simply because I started getting invaded by <laughs> professional syndicates. Uh, Big time syndicates, holy crud. Like the legendary ones, at least. The legendary um, squads of theirs, Ed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got to make a better defense. And that just happened. I ran out of iron ingots. Mother fricker. All right. All right. That, that's no big deal. That 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 is no big deal. We we can fix. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Just gotta put something down. I can fix this. That breaches the barrier. That means that's gonna be weaker. So, uh, yeah. And flying pals, holy crud.
Look like I got the assault rifle, let's go. And I got better walls too. Yeah, here they come. We'll go, get up there. They're all the way over there. Oh, we got a new one. Oh, look at the blue. You die. Got a new Palmon. Oh, wow. They are tick. Ladies and gentlemen, these birds are tick. What's up, bird? Bird's the word. Gotcha! Man, I got one heck of a throwing arm. Yeah, they're trying to make it over here. I've recognized these patterns. They're struggling, trying to get to me. This is why I chose this area. Strategic-wise... They have a hard time trying to get to me. I like being smart. Yeah, there's two stuck in the canyon. There's one left. And it's a Gale Claw. I need one of those. I level Gale Claw, too. Ah! Not fast enough. Maybe I should have used the grapple gun. I should have. Eh, well, at least I got a couple of them. Okay, let's see here. Yep. Eh, shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't. Oh well. Let's bring out the old pistol. Get a couple of kills in. Yes, I... I... Oh yeah, and... <sighs> FYI... I found a seller in the fire area, uh, at least the magma area that sells ammo. So that's really handy. Ooh, maybe I can make some gel cloth stew. That sounds yummy. Right now. That that sounds yummy. At least for my Palmon. Let's gather that wool. I need it. Treasure chest, why not? This sword is so freaking durable. I love it. I love my new sword. This is a broad sword, by the way. Look at that damage. All right, my base is up there. Oh, I don't think I'll make it. Oh, geez, I'm gonna take a tumble, aren't I? I don't know. I may be able to make it. <clears throat> oh, no, no, take a tumble. Ouch. 
<laughs> that sounded so wrong. But uh, back to the bloody point. Oh, today's gameplay in chat. I wish there was a way I could fix mine and my father's relationship. But it got so bad to a point where I couldn't even defend myself against his friends. His friends were constantly attacking me verbally and very verbally abusively. Okay, and these are people that didn't even realize how, let's just say, uniquely different I am. Uh, compared to them because they share the same views as my father Yet again people that think cold-hearted ruthless individuals are the only ones that are going to change the world Our only way that it's going to make the world better is being cold-hearted ruthless individuals a lot of people don't get that That doesn't change anything Cold-hearted, ruthless individuals don't change nothing. They only create more problems. Now, I'm not saying being kind, passionate, wimpy solve problems either. It takes people that want to change the world. That uh, has both of these views while also wanting to use technology efficiently and effectively for the benefit of mankind. That's the only way that the world's going to be better. Better off, at least, in that retrospective. Because it's not going to be better if we just stick with one thing or the other and not all possibilities. It takes so many things to obviously make the world better. So many scenarios that not a lot of people realize that it's the only way we're going to solve our world's problems is being creative, innovative, strong, smart, witty, and brilliant. And with my, uh, let's say, father's distorted views on like the only way that we're going to make the world better. It's just having a whole bunch of cold-hearted, ruthless individuals that can get the job done. That is literally the way of the caveman is going to bring the world to ruin. It really is. It never helps anyone. The world, humans, civilization. We need people that are very smart, innovative, brilliant. That can end up making the world a better place. While being kind, compassionate. And can make the tough decisions when decisions have to be made. That's the only way the world will be better. A lot of people also claim love can't be built on a uh, a on a house cannot be built on a foundation of love these days. That's completely a lie. They say it's outdated. They say it's, uh, 
you know, meme worthy. It says that it's cringe. It's not. A relationship can be built off of a house. A, a house's foundation of love can... How, how can I put this where y'all people can understand? A relationship can be built off a foundation of love. A home can be built from this foundation. It's the only way that a true relationship between two individuals can truly be achieved. Yet again, a lot of people of this current generation don't know this. They weren't taught this. They weren't shown this. They weren't, obviously, they have no way to study this. And the teachers have no way to tell them all this. And it's not because of a lack there of a environment, a lack of, how can I put this, uh, understanding is due to a lack there of, uh, ooh, yeah, I'm going to get the pump action shotgun. I'm going to fill people, with, oh, finally a shotgun bullets. <laughs> Eh, funny. I'm funny. I like being funny. But uh, anyways, let's just say A that, oh boy. A lot of things in my life that have gone off the rails is due to a constant feeling a constant uh, situation of my mother's passing. Mama Lionheart, I loved her a lot. She was my mother. My sister grew to reject her simply because My sister is definitely something. I love my sister. But she has her own life, her own family, her own views. and A few years before my mother's passing, she wanted nothing to do with my mother. I don't know what happened to my sister. I don't know why she became the way she did. All I can do is scrounge around and guess of why she's become so distant, so rejective, and just so neglective. Not only towards me, but towards so many other people. I was her brother. I tried to like obviously be a positive influence. I tried to protect her. Tried to watch over her. But I think that's why we uh, fell apart. That I was too much of a brother, a big brother, you know? Too much of a caring big brother, and that's why we uh, eventually just stopped talking so much. We still talk from time to time, but uh, yet again, there was not only failures on her part and, you know, my part, but the whole family.
There was so much that fell apart. So if you are expecting, you know, like Mama and Daddy Lionheart to show up, they're not going to. One's gone, and the other one does not care for my career choice, nor respects it. He never really has. He's never really respected anything that I wanted to achieve. And this stems to my current situation. I had to leave. I left my home and started my own life. I spent a majority of my adulthood years a good 18 years living with my father. And it certainly does show that what happened is, yeah, it happened. But here on a brighter note, I am still planning to play through, obviously, all of Rebirth. I want to play Rebirth without any spoilers. And when I jump into a game, I don't read any manuals. I go in there raw, okay? Like, kind of like with Power World, I went in here raw. She's T posing for dominance. You got eight shots. And when you craft the gun, you get eight shots. Nice. But luckily, throughout the game, I've gotten a unique majority of bullets. Oh, where's the armory? Where's. Nope. That's regular arm. Ah, here we go. We got 56 shotgun shells. Look at that. Look at that. We got shotgun shells. We got shotties for our mommies. For their mommies, at least. <laughs> We're gonna make the bad guys cry. Like little babies. But, uh, yeah. Now, I know there was a chance of, like, obviously, you people, when y'all see this stream and you hear me talking about my family's troubles, y'all are gonna rip me asunder. I already know it. I already predicted it. I've seen it's gonna happen. And you people can't help yourselves. Y'all really can't. When you hear stuff like this, people online love to rip people apart, but don't worry about me because I'm fully capable of defending myself online compared to most VTubers. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. If the Yu-Gi-Oh community couldn't break me, if my, and now oh, I will have to say, if my father couldn't break me into his views, Y'all can't break me into your views either. If y'all are looking to break me, make me fall apart, and cry like a little bitch, FYI, that ain't gonna happen. Truth of the matter is, I'm tougher compared to most VTubers, and I will rip you asunder. I will grab your beehive and take you out to the woodshed and spank you so hard 
with a verbal tongue that is sharper than a god dang serpent's tongue. I don't need physical violence to harm y'all. I've got a sharp, wicked tongue that can make Hillary Clinton regret every decision that she's ever made thinking that and obviously and like just just people in general people that made bad decisions i have that uh, tongue that can literally make them regret everything they have ever done to uh hurt people okay i have that sharp double-edged razor tongue that can end up destroying their morality, their beliefs, their thoughts, and even more so, their full-on capabilities of being a cancerous little, <laughs> well, shite. And that's due to my mother's genetics. Yes, my mother had one of those tongues that can rip you asunder, okay? She could destroy everything you were. With mere words alone. Oh, and you would not be able to live it down. This thing has a lot of damage. It is good for mining. Fighting Palmon, cutting down trees. Don't get me started on cutting down trees. Usually with like my former axe, it takes like... Here, let's just show you. So with my former axe, it usually took about eight to nine wax at this tree, right? Take a look. One, two, three. Boom. Three hits with a sword. This thing cuts down trees. Three hits. That's frightening to know that they made a sword in this game that powerful. I would love to see a gun blade next. You freaking kidding me? Maybe a laser gun because the Science Institute's got laser weaponry. I would love to see like their own version of a gun blade. Or a lot of players that have like laser guns. All I want is sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. What's wrong with you people? And I just gave them another idea. Yeah, they're probably going to make a pal ball that's a shark that has a freaking laser beam attached to its head. <laughs> That'd be frightening. That generally be frightening. Like seeing a Palmon that has a laser eye. Or, or like some gem on their like shark-like head and fires out a laser. <laughs> then we can see the return of the meme. I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> I actually generally enjoyed that meme. That, that was a good one. That was, that was a good meme. Not gonna lie. It was so classic and iconic. It was really good. It was really good. Like, stuff like that, I thoroughly enjoy. I like the classics, but not too old where, like, the classics are so dated. I love making jokes. I love making references. I like being me. I like making people smile and be happy. When I talk like this, being vulnerable and all that kind of stuff, I don't like that. I don't like being vulnerable. I'm not going to say that I hate it, but I do not like it. I do not care for it. I do not enjoy 
showing my vulnerable side to anyone. Because I know how cold-hearted and ruthless the world really is. Pick up the gun. Thank you. Thank you for picking up the weed. Yeah, we're gonna have to create more. We're gonna have to go hunting. Make some more wheat. We're just gonna have to do a massive amount of hunting. Well, a hunting will go, I guess. This way we'll be able to test out the new shotgun. But, uh, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Who is making that racket outside of my fortress? Boom! Oh, that damage! Oh! 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 <sighs> Seriously, I just took care of the syndicate. Why am I still being attacked? Why is that? <sighs> they need to update the soundtrack on this. Yeah, I can't get any food from them. Bang the shotgun though. Oh yeah, it loads like an assault rifle. Holy Christ. So freaking OP. I love it. Not too far away from the settlement either. This thing's going to be a nightmare to deal with. I'm glad I went with this one instead of the double barrel shotgun. Dang. Alright, fella, need the food. Nothing personal, hog. Mm. Bang. This shotgun, though. Just one shot. Like, if I had this during the first boss, I think it would have gone down at least two, maybe three shots. Two at most. Three of I missed an entire shell into like the freaking boss. <laughs> nah, scratch that. It would only take one shot. It would only take one shot. <laughs>
I do the Mario Brothers proud right now. Mushroom. <laughs> uh. Boom. Boom. Oh, right in the hiney. Dang, that was right in the hiney. Mm. Oh, kind of like eggs in Treya on a Friday night. Dang. Yeah, as the trade on Taco Tuesdays doesn't have a good day, but when it comes to Friday nights, she loves getting her backside taken care of. And <laughs> let's just say she definitely has a <clears throat> time. All right, she definitely has a time. <laughs> uh. Oh! Oh, disgusting. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, wow. Double berry Earl shotgun straight to the face. Oh, bad dog. Bad Fido. I don't have a home for you, sorry. But I do have a shotgun rounds for you. Dang. Yeah, not enough coinage to go uh, shopping, sadly. Dang. I love the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, this is, we're definitely going Texan like this. You're freaking kidding me. We're definitely going all Texan on these things. You know, I normally don't approve of that meme. I really don't. As a guy that's born and raised in Texas, I'm going to be real. I don't care for that joke slash meme. It's so messed up. Everybody thinks we're just gun-toning maniacs. We're not. Okay, like, everybody thinks we're like, oh, we're the next Texas Chainsaw Massacre waiting to happen. We're not. Ooh! Dang. Dang! Oh, I feel bad about that one. Ooh. Dang. And yes, I have a sense of right and wrong. But not in gaming. <laughs> And gaming, you don't need a sense of right and wrong. You just need a sense of killing. Especially when there's guns. Or explosives. Or knives. 
or lasers or bullets in general. <laughs> like morality goes straight out the window when it comes to video gaming, all right? It's just pure dumb fun. Everyone loves fun and unless you're a politician. If you're a politician, you literally sign a contract saying you gotta hate fun. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that, I just do. Technical manual. Nice. Electric organs in. Let's get these fruits. Oh, lightning strike, aqua gun, dragon burst. Dragon Burst. I've never actually gotten that one before. He's coming over here to fight me. He's trying to catch up. Hey there, Johnny. How's little Timmy? Dang this thing. Man, gotta love these new toys. These new adult toys, god dang, in this game. I love having fun. Let's rip and tear until it is done. Oh. Tiny shot. Well, that was a waste, wasn't it, fellas? You wanna see how to get shit done? That's how you get it done. Don't monologue with gut shots or references. You just take the shot. Level two, I guess I can let that one go. <sighs> Ain't no real oh added buffs to it either. That's a bit disappointing. Mm. 
Yes! Looting, looting, looting. Ah, I need a copper key. Let's see. Hell? Yeah, why not? We're on the hunt for uh, in food and ingredients and stuff, so why not? Oh, more syndicate thugs. You know what this means? More money. Give me the money. I want the money. Give me the money. Arrows versus guns. And yet y'all still couldn't get the job done. Bunch of useless maggots. Oh, well, that was an animation glitch. I've ever seen one. Ooh, cows. I do need more of those. Hey, we got the level 45. Nice. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do, we're going to go to our player stats. Increase how much we can carry. We're going to go to attack. Right now, what we need to do is craft shotgun shells. So we're getting the shotgun shells. And next. Hmm. Yes, please that this thing gets a missile launcher I don't know what to expect anymore that's so cool the giant dinosaur gets a missile launcher Okay, yeah, we're gonna say what points we have until, like, we find another teleportation point. That is not yet unlocked. But what I will do is go after this Palmon. Must be in this direction? Yep. Cross the lake. Ah. Now, I do need a couple of these. Boom. 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 Yeah, it accidentally killed that one. Oh well. Things happen. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, stick with the melee. Go on melee. Going on in melee style. I want to slay the dragon. I want to slay a bad dragon. Dragon slain. Okay, there we go. We got the dragons. Oh, leafy monkey energy, heck yeah. Another dragon, heck yeah. Couple of camps, heck yeah. Huh. 
I want to slay a dragon. Give me the dragon. I'm going to slay him. <laughs> yeah. Try to go with Mega Spears from now on. Got plenty of those. Any more dragons? No more dragons. Ain't no more dragons. And they'll spawn back later. We got dummies. Wait a minute. I hear a shiny. Shiny! Oh, a level 21 shiny. I remember you. Eh, oh well. Now nah, my inventory's full. Precious pelt. Drop the arrows. Oh, I forgot I have one of these. Now we can get the new spear er, thing. Hold on. Spear assembly line. Boom! Done. What's up, boys? <laughs> Dummies. All right. Shotgun shells. Thank you. <laughs> He's so cold. He's still smiling. Poor fella. He's so cold. He's still smiling. <laughs> I just feel bad now. Like he's all cold and he's still smiling. I feel so bad. Like he's all cold. He's still smiling. I'm a monster. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and let's take a look. Let's raid one more base before we have to go back to ours. Were you T-posing for dominance, you little troll? Oh, I'm gonna show you dominance. That's how you freaking dominate. That is how you dominate. You don't T-pose. 
Or dominance, you just go up to somebody and whack them with a goddamn sword. Now I'm full on them. Might as well just catch them to the. Uh... Yeah, well, didn't mean to do that. Now I could have gotten some extra coins from that big boy. But oh well. Don't mind me, boys. Don't! Boy, are you trying to set me on fire like your ex-fiance? Get back here, coward! Eh, I wasted that mega ball. <laughs> oh, thank God! I didn't want to catch you. <laughs> oh, my God, no. Wacky stuff I get into. Let's ride my lightning horse back to the waypoint because I am done here. Just let me refresh my inventory so the food stays nice and fresh. Let's see in which direction. That direction. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Give it a look. You get a shocking surprise sensation. <laughs> yes, I just quoted that old song. Still a good one too, not gonna lie. <laughs> of course it's not for children. Never really was for children, really, that song. Bread. Thank you. Num num nums. Num nums. Okay. We are way off. Other direction it is then. Mine. Mine. Yoink. Heat resistant pelt schematic. Don't technically need that, I already have it. That's thanks for us, we're going to Fisherman's Point. Now, this is the area where you can buy ammo. Not only that, but you can also buy other ingredients. Depending on what region you're in in Pow World, I guess each and every region has different sellers. 
and different items. So that's a refreshing taste compared to Pokemon. So let's sell some of the extra Palmon that I don't need. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Yeah, you better run. Yeah, that wasn't getting disturbing at all. Now, we're not going to go fight this boss. But I do need to switch out my armor. Need heat resistance for this one. But we're going to go is over here. Because there's sulfur at this tower. There's a lot of sulfur that you can get here. And it's really good for it. Like, you can mine a lot of sulfur here. And that's what we need to create gunpowder uh, along with charcoal. And luckily, sulfur doesn't weigh that much. You think it would, though. So I found some excellent areas for mining. One, you have ore. Two, you have sulfur. Uh, three, you have... Uh, pow... Uh, uh, I think it's called quartz. Uh, pow quartz... If you want to find palladium, like, just large quantities at least, just go in any cave. It's really good for that. Okay. How much sulfur did we get here today? And 300, not bad, not bad. I know there's a couple more deposits right up here. Yep. So, this is what we need to make gunpowder is sulfur and quartz. And this is what we're going to need to create ammunition. And you're going to need metal, and you're going to... Ooh, look at the... Look, look. I love that animation of the hot magma down there. I mean, it's so highly detailed. Do y'all know how hard it is to create highly detailed animations like that? I don't. I don't make those type of animations. But I really do appreciate them. They look really cool. You just gotta take in the majesty of what these guys came up with, okay? Like, any game developer that can make stuff like this, especially indies, okay? Like, this, these are just a couple of dudes that said, you know what, Nintendo's suffering to do anything? Let's do something for them. Let's make something that literally dwarfs them and makes them look like mere children. And look what they did! Look! What they did they did all this and it's so beautiful i love it like i'm an old school pokemon player both game and video game and card game all right and like i can admit when somebody creates a game better than a big developer of how well they do And I understand why so many people are mad at them. It's not because of the copyright stuff. They're mad because, oh, they made a better game than Nintendo. And the truth of the matter is, they did. 
they created a game far more better than Nintendo's cabinet ever could. And that is what sets them off. That what makes them so freaking mad right now. They're mad. Like Nintendo's fanboys and girls are mad right now because somebody made a better game than Nintendo. That's why they're so mad. They're not mad that it merely exists. They're mad because somebody made a better game than their precious Nintendo. And I'm all for it. I love it when indies create a game like this that ha adds so much for just such a little price tag. All right. And when people get ticked off because somebody does this, it really shows their insecurities. When people get mad because of a game company that fails to live up to their expectations like this, because I'm going to be honest, Nintendo's been doing it for a long time. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all, Nintendo needs to step up their game. Because if indies can do this stuff better than them, just a freelancing game developers, Nintendo has no choice but to go, all right, we're done. We're finished. We're frauds. Because they gotta realize that eventually, eventually, if they keep making all these games that fail to live up the expectations, that their fans are just gonna straight up leave. And of course, every time they do it, they don't learn from their lesson either. That's just game companies in general. And when indies make a game better than them, of course, or it's like, they try to do something legally to deal with it, try to come off like the bigger, badder company, you know, like, like obviously, all that, but it shows their insecurities and inefficient capabilities of creating something like this. It really does show how insecure they can be. And kind of the point really with Power World. They didn't do this to spite Nintendo. They didn't do this to harm Nintendo's image. They did this because they were upset. They were upset that Nintendo failed. And they kept failing. They weren't going to learn from their mistakes. They're not going to learn from their mistakes. Why should they need to learn from their mistakes when their mistakes still make them money? That's Nintendo's thought process. They could literally care less about other people's wants or needs or desires for a game. It's just one of those dark, overlying truths about the world. The state of the world right now in gaming. Not a lot of people want to admit it, but Nintendo as a company is so money obsessed. That they can literally care less about coming out with a proper game. They are so corrupt. They really are. That they can care less. 
That's Nintendo. That's companies, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, VTuber and VTuberettes. Of all shapes, sizes, and ages, and augmentations. That they could care less. Of what needs to be done to be successful. They're a company. They're a cold-hearted, ruthless company. And that's all they care about. They're a money maker. And to them, if they're not making money, then it's the customer's fault. For not buying their product. They don't want to admit that at times it is their fault. They don't like admitting when they're made mistakes. It hurts their image. It hurts their company. It hurts their career. And they don't like, they don't want, and they don't need to admit their mistakes. In their eyes, at least. Because in their eyes, they have done nothing wrong. And that's where money comes in, corrupting everyone. And the company like that. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. And on any more than that. Because, like, holy crud, everyone. <sighs> Nintendo definitely shows how not to be an efficient gaming company. Lately. And... I really do not care for Nintendo anymore. Their latest game system falls so short. They're trying to put two together. They're adding one plus one and hopefully it makes one. It doesn't work that way, especially with game systems. They're trying to put the Game Boy and modern consoles together at a cheap, affordable price. And that's something they don't realize that is beyond technological capability for anyone to achieve right now. It is beyond their capability of doing as a company. But they don't want to admit that. Instead, they rather say it's the customer's fault or it's our game developer's fault or it's our or time development fault, or window development, whatever. They rather say it's something that is beyond their control's fault as a game company than a bit, yes, it is our fault. And I know I'm talking about, you know, just... Things in gaming in general, because, like, we were supposed to be talking about what happened in my life, and that's far from over now. It's over. That conversation is done. And I just want to talk about gaming now, but it's really messed up of how these game companies truly feel like they can just get away with such cheap products. I know there's a couple of people out there be like, Oh, you're just being too picky. Picky, 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 picky. Uh, these are people that have never played a video game in their life. They claim they play games. They claim they're gamers. They claim this. They claim that about video games. They don't play games. They can care less for video games. They want them gone. They see them as the root of the world's problems. 
truth of the matter is, the root of all the world's problems fall under three factors. One. Greed, eat, money, greed through corruption. Alright? Two. Lack of accepting responsibility. Three. And this is a big one. The failures of political figures. Okay? What we have here is a system that has fallen so short that no one cares for. And a lot of the world's problems fall under this. These itineraries. I'm going to be real. From modern people to equations of, like, real world problems. That just went political on y'all. I will apologize for that one. I know you're not here for politics. But I'm talking about people in general of why so many things have failed miserably in the world. This can be applied to people, to businesses, to gaming, to everything. Everything right now can be pulled to these major factors. Even teaching. Okay, we got a lot of people out there that don't know right from wrong. Don't know how the real world is. And don't know how to treat people. Or this falls under a lack of teaching right from wrong. Accepting responsibilities for our actions. And refusing to see the world for what it is. And trying to fix it. Oh my god, I can make some uh, rummeroid, boiled rummeroid. A lot of the world's problems could easily be fixed if people were willing to try to fix it. Sadly, nobody wants to fix the world. Nobody wants to make it better. This is where everything falls apart. Man, civilization, and so much more can fall under all these issues. Okay, so... Let's start uh, separating this food. Okay, that's clear up.
Yeah, that should keep their bellies full for a while. Boy, was I suddenly talkative, and now I'm silent. It's like I'm radio silent suddenly. So <laughs> Usually how things go with me. Like, I get to talking about some things, and then, like, I suddenly go silent. It's kind of creepy. I'm gonna eat one of the cheeseburgers. I mean, I'm not a cheeseburger guy, but. That's some good food right there, good lord. My fridge is almost fully stocked. It's just a whole bunch of recipes, holy crap. Okay, now what we need to do... Head over here. We need to start making some charcoal. Now this stuff should make really, really fast with my line here. See, almost instantly. That stuff is gonna happen real fast. Oh, hello, boy. Wow, they are not happy, so... Player... Enhance. Also. Don't worry, I'll get you all that medication here in a minute. Yeah, that won't be enough. Oh, wow. It takes refined ignigate. Okay. Well, at least I got plenty of charcoal for that. Uh, plenty of, like, coal for that. I mean, um, uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. That's going to take a hot minute. Look at that work speed of mine. 
If I put the ad upgrade in the work speed, I think I would have done this faster. But it's just fast enough. Wow, we are over two hours in. You know what? Let's make this three. Let's just go on straight to 12 o'clock. <laughs> I wish there was music at the base. It's such a huge missed opportunity of them. Not, like, when you have a base built, you think they would add more music. Like, something humble? Something nice? Something, something good, okay? Like, holy crap. And possibly, just hear me out, maybe overall, like, when you're in single player mode, this is, this is just like the, the horny little freak in me, okay? So what if you capture a human, and what if you capture a Palmon? Extract their DNA somehow, and create a, like a humanoid pal partner? I think that would be so ooh, interesting. Like, you can either come with a humanoid pal, a human uh, male partner or female. I think that would be so cool. And, like, they can wield weapons, too. But, like, compared to their level, though, is what kind of weapons they can carry. Such as if they're, they're like, level 10 or lower, let's just say, all right, they can carry, like, a basic pickaxe, um... You know, a regular axe. And maybe the uh, basic, like, really messed up pistol. Uh, level 20, they can carry, like, the regular pistol. And the double barrel shotgun along with the um, metal pickaxe and metal axe. Level 30, they can carry the sword. The, um... Like, let's uh, give them the rifles at level 30, of course. Something like that, you know? Like, I think that would be an interesting mechanic. What do y'all think? Maybe it's just a freak in me talking, like, of an idea, but <laughs> who says I can't be a little freakish? All right. Ain't nothing wrong with being a little bit freakish. I'd still like to see, like, laser guns in this game, or, like, a gun blade. That'd be so iconic. It, it'd be nice. It really would be something else. It really would. And don't act like y'all wouldn't want to see it as well. I know you would. We all would. We're gamers here, okay? Like, we're all gamers, and we want to see some good stuff. Oh, shotgun shells. Wow, I'm going to have 400 shotgun shells. I like that. Uh, I guess I gotta do some maintenance first, though. Yeah, 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 maintenance. I need polymers. No big deal. I can make them right here. Look at him go. Look at that thing go. Good. Good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, I love that. Blazing hot. Oh, knock. And turn. Oh. I, I, I should just call you Griffer. I'm going to call him Griffer. I'm going to give him. Give me a few minutes. Like, after I make this polymer and, like, do these adjustments. I'm going to give my Palmon finally names. Holy crud. I'm going to call him Griffer. 
simply because of like he reminds me of the sorcerer's summer summon from um a uh griffer or uh, like that is oh that is a good name for him he just reminds me of that uh you know like sorcerer's summon i really i really do like him that is a i love this palmon I love my giant lion right there, okay? Like, winged lion with giant horns, okay? Look it up. Final Fantasy VIII. A sorcerer summon Grifford. And you'll know what I'm talking about. The comparisons to that. And that Palmon over there, okay? Like, are so similar. At least in design-wise of color. And somewhat body type. The similarities are there. There's nothing really original anymore in the world. There's similarities to everything. You just need to know what the similarities are, folks. Okay? And you can notice them real easy. Also, the graphics on yesterday's live stream... I noticed that my, uh, uh, what was going on, the graphics really did suffer with Rebirth and what my PC is able to handle between my PS5 and my PC. Uh, I think it happens, it happens to do with, uh, PlayStation Powered Plus, or uh, PlayStation, uh, Plus, uh, player or something like that. I forget what it's called. But I think it has to do with it going over the internet. I, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I think that was the issue. And it's beyond anything I can do to fix that. Right now, it is beyond my power to fix, because I don't, I, I don't work for the PlayStation Company, all right? Once he's done with those, like, holy crud, look at him go. You go, man. You go. We'll name him here in a bit. I'm thinking I'm gonna name him Griffer of like the Lily Gittens in my inventory in my Power World team right now that I'm working on. I think I'm gonna name her. A, hmm. I'm thinking either Dragon Blossom or Dragon Lily. Oh, I got it. Lily eat, dump Lily dumpling. Uh dumpling Lily or Lily dumpling. And uh kinda misses the point. Ooh Passion Lily. Passion Lily. Okay, yeah, uh, Passion Lily. A mixture between that of Lily and um uh the I think it's the fruit drink. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, dragon. Uh, hold on, like there there was a uh, a dragon. Uh, 
passion or passion dragon. I forget what the drink is called. It's a flavor of a Japanese like um drink. Like never get it in the never get the US variant though. I'm going to be real. Um it tastes horrible. It's simply because like we're all gaijins here and when Americans try to make Japanese drinks, they're horrible. Oh my god, they taste horrible. And there's certain things Americans sh can make and should make and shouldn't make, is how I should put it. They should make some things, and there's some things they shouldn't make. Uh, Japanese drinks is one of them. Okay, I'm going to be real. Americans should never make Japanese drinks. We screw it up so bad. Alright, don't get me started on how bad we screw up Japanese drinks. This is America, by the way. We never get anything right from other cultures. Somehow we always screw it up. <laughs> we always screw it up, okay? We always screw up other cultures' food or drinks, and especially drinks. We should stick to what we know when it comes to drinks, okay? <laughs> it is so messed up. It really is. It's so messed up. We are so messed up. Oh. I love taking shots at my own kind. I really do. Because nobody else does in America, alright? Nobody else does but me. And I'm kind of glad that I do. Because it kind of puts us in a retrospective that at least there's some good Americans that are not afraid to admit they're screw-ups. Okay? Yes, we are screw-ups. We are a country of screw-ups. We screw up all the time. Humans screw up all the time. We really do. Nothing to be ashamed about. We should accept it. We screw up all the time. And sadly, tomorrow morning there won't be any streams because I gotta get some real-world things done, such as... I have to pay the piper. I have to pay the piper um, money, okay? So, tomorrow there won't be any streams, sadly, because I gotta get some real-life world stuff done. But until then, we're gonna, like, stream at least 43 more minutes, because I'm gonna have a three-hour stream now. Once we get all this ammunition made, we can then focus on making the spear or, or like obviously line. And we're definitely gonna put it right in front of this one, but in a unique direction. Yes, I have no shame. <laughs> and we're gonna rebuild this one too. Because like I think I can do it if I extend the building. Yeah. So we're going to do some remodeling as well. Once he's done with that charcoal, we'll start focusing on finishing this ammo and then we'll do some remodeling in the building. Because it's kind of needed right now. Uh, 
Right now we're gonna have 200 shotgun shells. And just about, um, two more tries. Two more completions and like. So I at least want to name the Palmon before the stream ends. And increase the building size. Along with uh, finishing the ammunition. And we'll call it ends from the stream from there. Unless we get raided again by another syndicate. Uh, then we're going to have to take action. And we're going to have plenty of shotgun shells to do it. <laughs> we're going to have plenty of shotgun shells to do it too. Look at you go, man. Look at this guy go. Look at this guy go. All right, when he gets stuff done, he gets stuff done. And that's all free XP, by the way. Oh, we only got 100 shotgun shells. You even got the shotgun! Oh, that's so cool! That is so cool, you even cock it! I didn't notice that before! That's so cool! I'm such a nerd, and I love it. <laughs> I am such a nerd, and I love it. So, how's everyone out there in chat today? I hope y'all are doing okay. I think Thursday we'll finally go after a boss. And sadly, from behind the scenes, I took on Miss Lily. Uh, simply because I wanted to get some more technological ancient tech points. But I'll save the volcano boss for Thursday. As I'm going to stream Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on Mondays and Fridays until its completion. Uh, we're going to stream Power World on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And Saturdays, I'm going to try to reserve that for miscellaneous streams, such as editing streams or like creating VTuber model streams or or editing video streams, or just general chatting streams. You know, just some strange stuff. And I think on Saturdays, I'm going to have, like, those streams be, like, an hour long. So we'll do that around, like, probably around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still trying to figure out my scheduling that I want to do. It's going to be a hot while before I actually figure out 100% what I want to achieve in a time schedule. I'm currently really busy with real world things in the fourth dimension, such as grocery shopping and uh, getting stuff done. There's, I'm still trying to make it in my life and any overall like help in that regard from you people would really be appreciative right, we're gonna break all this down okay here we go all right, now what we need to do. Uh, 
Let's replace that. We're gonna go with stone walls. Okay, what we now need to do. Oop. Go three across. For that wall. At that. Okay. Alright, now what we need to do. Three across. That leaves enough for the stone gate. Put in play. Look at them go, good lord. Okay, now what we need to do. Okay, there we go. You out of the facility. Gonna have to pull them out by the terminal. Bit of a problem. And yes, my base is at maximum efficiency right now. Uh, for the time being. Okay, go. We're gonna need more light.
Okay, now we can redirect the development cycle of uh, the production line going straight. Like this. Build. There we go. And then we can focus on making the spear one. And finally, will we unlock the product line one? That should be the last one we'll need to ever make. And I screwed it up. Dang it. And good enough. Yes, bite me. I'm a bit of a factionist, okay? I need more of those. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's not too hard to do. All I have to do is go outside near the water. Look at all the pallium. Three chops with a big old sword. I know this is not how swords are supposed to be used, but screw it, we're doing it anyways. <laughs> this is how we're doing it, okay? This is how we're getting stuff done. It doesn't make sense, but fun is not supposed to make sense. Having fun never makes sense. It never should need to make sense. It's fun. You're playing a game and you're not having fun. What's the point? What's the point of playing a game if you're not having fun? Why it's called a game? Let's see how much. Ooh, that's a lot. Good. Hey. 
Okay, here we go. Ah, stone. Oh, and now I'm going to do is rearrange this. We'll move you back here in a second. Let's add a primitive work too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got high quality, we got product assembly. Okay. Get the building. Building, 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 building. Make a couple more storage areas. <sighs> Rebuild these things. This is just like a game that I can just play and be very comfortable with playing. It's one of these games that and I just love playing that are super... Like, I can just play and just get lost in. I mean, I really can. I love playing a game where you can just get lost in the moment and play hours in and not overall just go, 
Oh, I'm done. I'm so glad that they're going to add more to Power World. I'm so happy they are. And, like, I hope they add more stuff for, like, entertainment-wise for, like, your Palmon. For maybe, like, more, like, a more modern video Oh, oh, system, like, more modern television to maybe even, like, oh, I don't know, maybe, like, making it where the piano or maybe even the radios and stuff that you can build and stuff can actually give off, like, music. Rather, it's music they developed for the game or that you can just add into the game yourself. Like through a file, like through a modded folder file or something like that. It'd be so much, it'd be so fun. It really would. It'd be so neat if they did that. Here's the thing though. Uh, they would have to be worried about copyright claim stuff. If they did that. Real talk, they really would have to worry about uh, certain, like, people streaming this game using copyrighted music. And uh, luckily us VTubers and big time, like, streamers and celebrities and all that kind of stuff that have been in the industry for years know how to deal with copyright claim issues, even though sometimes the copyright claim stuff can really get out of hand. Rather, it's just some random jerk or the actual company. I get Kip had to deal with something with, I think it was epidermic sound. Like, I thought about going with them at one time for, like, custom music uh, for my channel. I really thought about them. But then I heard unique arguments about the way they handle their business and certain problems. When I heard that, before him, because like before it happened to him, I already heard the unique arguments and problems they have with their workers. And just random people throwing out random copyright bull crud. I've heard these arguments. I've heard what's happened before him. And it's definitely due to the company not knowing how to hire the right people. I kept my demon brother dude, alright, in VTubing, alright. I get that you uh, had to deal with that stuff. Me, I had to deal with copyright claim stuff all the time in the Yu-Gi-Oh! online community. So many times. So many times. Rather, it was through a random Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And I used to do cheeky little, like, PNG videos. Music videos. And they were okay. They weren't the best. They were okay. I will admit, they were okay. They weren't the best. I will never claim my work is the best. I know it's not the best. And I'm okay with not being the best. There's a difference between certain people that w always want to be the best and fail to do it, and those who, who obviously want to be the best and only the best. Those people have a lot of problems and issues. People that only have one goal in life 
one goal to be the best at something, really lack individuality and creativity, and ingenuity. If there's only one thing you want to be good at in your entire life, throughout your entire existence, then there is something missing in your life. It's just a guy talking from experience right now. That trust me, I get it. A lot of people want to be the best at something because they're good at it. When you're good at something, you should capitalize on it. But there's a time and place to capitalize on something like that. There's always a time and place to capitalize on what you want to do with your life. From a guy that has experience on the YouTubing platform in general, just now getting into streaming, I definitely like to do my research these days. I always lack in doing the proper research for anything. Research is king. Studying, research, time. All this is very, very important to be successful on any platform. On any type of content creation. On anything. Yes, it's very time-consuming. Yes, it can definitely take a toll on your mental and physical and even at times a spiritual existence. But no matter what, it's worth it. It really is to do all this. Because it shows respect. It shows admiration. It shows people actually... can appreciate of what you're trying to do. Now, after next week, though, I will be taking a bit of a weekly reprieve. Uh, not from content creation, but from streaming, uh, simply because I gotta start making VTuber 101. And what I thought was going to be a five-part mini-series of videos, okay? Like, I wanted this to be a small mini-series of 10-minute videos. I found out that it may take longer than that to even imagine to complete. It's going to be longer than that. I wish it was going to be that this long. But it is. It's going to take a long time for me to get this series properly off the ground. It's simply because I am one person doing all this. And to get the first few videos done, because streaming takes a lot out of me. It really does. It takes a lot out of this man. And I don't have a lot of money to hire video editors. I barely have any money to fire, hire video editors. Because I've got to focus on so much. In... On my life. I want to hire video editors, but I can't, is how I'm saying. I'm not successful enough to have enough money to hire video editors. I know a lot of YouTubers have a public discords. I want to have a public discord like that. Problem is, I would have to hire moderators to moderate it. Yet again... 
I don't have those type of resources. Yet. I want to say these resources I don't have yet. And streaming is supposed to help me do that. To achieve those resources. Man, the stream is like really, really slow. <laughs> Just because we're crafting a whole bunch of bullets and ammunition and editing the facility. I get my Power World streams maybe a little bit bland. Probably is. Probably really bland, actually. <laughs> Simply because I played Power World and I like playing Power World and talking with y'all. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. And makes me feel like, obviously, <laughs> it relieves a bit off my shoulders, I guess. <sighs> yeah, Josh, why you had to do this to me? Oh, why'd you have to do this to me? They're not my therapy group. Good lord, I don't even have a therapy group. <sighs> Shouldn't need to know this stuff. Doesn't need to know about my problem. <sighs> I'm with you. Why'd you have to do that? Sorry, I'm just eternally thinking right now. Maybe I'm a little bummed out that he did that to me. I'm very bummed out still. Like I said, there's so much stuff I want to do to be a successful VTuber. For me to do this, obviously, I need income. I, I need income. <sighs> I'm not saying rifle ammo is almost done. Mm hmm I think we'll stop the rifle ammo at 320. Because we're almost three hours into the stream. And I got a message to answer in a bit. We got, yeah, 60 more to go. We'll put the rest up. And we'll call it a stream for the day. Like I said, there won't be a stream tomorrow, sadly. I, uh, have to get certain things done. 
is I have to pay the piper their dues. I have to pay my dues in... We'll pick up Pal World on on Thursday. Cause like tomorrow's Wednesday, isn't it? This is how scatterbrained I get. Okay. So next time on Pal World. We'll finally get some more stuff done. Let's just repair that. And still missing high quality oils. Repair sword. Okay, there we go. So join me next time on Power World when we get the final bit of ammunition done and we'll go take on the next boss. I have been Commander Devin Lionheart, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, VTubers and VTuberettes of all shapes, sizes, ages, and augmentations. I have been Commander Devin Lionheart, and I am Ali. The stream's over. As soon as like, I can bring up the map and cancel the stream. Hold on. I'm gonna have to do it this way. At times, Power World's really inconsistent with the mouse control. Alright, bye everyone. <laughs>